You want to check if your grade is on point or just simply find a specific frame in a very big project while you're color grading. Simply go into your keyboard preferences, find light box and assign a custom key. Now go back to your color grading page, press that custom key and your life will be changed forever just like mine. When editing an interview or a voiceover, the voice sounds a bit whack. Simply go into Fairlight, then Effects, Channel, and then Vocal Channel, and copy this preset. I saved it as Studio Voice Presets, and I apply this onto any voiceover or interview, and your voice will sound so much better. Talking about sound, your edit is finished, but your music isn't. So how do we fix it? Simply cut the last beat, duplicate it down below, and then compound it, then open in timeline, duplicate it again, and then make the second one longer and mute it. Now go back into the main timeline and make the one on the bottom as long as you can, and then fade it in and out and add a reverb like this, and you're done. Your speedrun looks great, but a little bit too jittery when the speed goes up and down. Simply make sure you have rhythm curve on a custom key. I have it on the key R, for example. Then make a speedrun and click that custom key you assign to it and simply drag the point using this little tool up here to make it more smooth in and out. You got a client video all done, edited, color graded, but now they want a vertical version. Yes, I know, it sucks. Simply select all of the clips, go into the inspector and now click smart reframe and just wait and you're done. This selects the subject and puts it in the middle. Obviously double check just to make sure it's all done, but to be honest, this works 100% of the time for me. I always use a bunch of sound effects in my videos and I want to be able to access them easy in DaVinci Resolve. Create a power bin, drag and drop your assets folder and it will always be there for you in any project. And talking about sound effects, you feel like your sound effects just don't sound realistic and good when you add them. Simply add a reverb to the sound effects and put the preset vocal width. This usually makes it sound like the sound effect is happening right there and then. You're still figuring out color grading or maybe you already figured this out, but you can't target the right color when you're color grading. Use the color warper to find the exact color you're looking for and then you can just change it from there. Drag it up and down, around and you're done. It's never been easier. You find it annoying that every time you have to color grade, you can't just save same no tree and reapply it to the footage in the next project. Well, that's actually not true. You can save a no tree. Simply go into your gallery, make sure power grade is selected at your inside that folder and then grab a still from your footage and then rename that still. And now you can just drag and drop that still and your no tree is right there. And then I used it all the time. And this is the last one. I know the struggle of having to finish an edit, color grade it, add effects, text, whatever, and then the clients gets back to you and they want a little, one tiny change, but your laptop is too slow and it's lagging because you have so many effects on it or color, whatever the reason. Well, simply click this button on top here and every color or effects changes you have made is gonna be disabled and your laptop will run nice and smooth and you can make the change and then just click the button again and all the colors will be there. Simple and easy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think I fit it into three minutes. I hope at least. Thanks so much for sticking around and like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.